Hello YouTube programmers, welcome back in my tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create the snow effect in VFX using Unity. So let's start to make our today's video. Before going to start our today's video, let's take a look what we are going to make. Okay, so let's start to create our today's video. So for this, you need to create your project into the HDRP, or you can convert your project into the HDRP. So for this, just go to the window and click here the package manager. Okay, so here you can see this window. Now here is HDRP, this high definition RP. You need to click and install the import into the, your project and also you need to import the VFX graph into the, your project. So for this here, the VFX, here it is here, the visual effect graph, just click here and import it into your project. Cross it. Okay guys, so after this you need to create the VFX graph. So for this just right click here. Click this create and just go to the visual effect and here click the VFX graph. Now here you can see this new VFX graph. Just rename it. I'm going to rename it the this window is called as the VFX graph. Now you need to go back to the scene here and create object here. Let's create a sphere. You can see this is sphere here and just drag just click this sphere here and just drag this snow VFX graph into the inspector of the, your object. So just drag and drop it here into the inspector. And here you can see the visual effect automatically added to your object. Here you can see. Go back to the, your VFX graph here. Now here you can see the spawn is similar to the your awake function which is in your C sharp script. Here the initialize like as the start function and the update you I guess you are familiar with the update function in the C sharp script and here the output it defines the how the result resulting particle should be. So this is a little intro of the VFX graph. Okay, so now start with the initialization. Here, when you rotate your middle key of your mouse, here you can see it will go big. So first we need to change the capacity into the 50,000 of the particles. Let's write here the 50,000. And we need to change the velocity of the particle. So it will go to minus 10. Positive 10, which means 10. 10. And go to the scene here. Here you can see the difference in the particles. Again, just go back to the your VFX graph, which is the snow. Now we need to change here the output pot 
output particles of the quad which is here the okay, so now we change the output particle quad here the blend mode into the adjective and the main texture here to the here to the knob it will like a little snow something texture so that's why we choose here the knob texture for the R snow Let's cross it here and just again go to the scene here now you can see the R particle texture R change I'll just again go back to the snow here now we need to change the orient here the face camera plane into the along velocity just again go back to the scene now here you can see this change will make the snow particle face the direction that they are traveling you need here to change the size of your particles so just double click here and you need to drag this x this is called at the x which is defined the time and this y axis define the size of the, your particle so here you can see what is the size of the, my particle between the near about the 0 0.1 and so you need to drag you need to make it linear here okay so just drag this here at the make it the linear perfect okay so just again go to the scene here now you can see the difference in the size of your particles perfect we are doing great now snow particle emits constant rate in real time snow falls at the current intensity strong so for this just here press the space key into your window and just write here the periodic total time here just drag it over here and just make it the 8 and the range will be the 100 and y will be 2000 okay so now for the changing the here the spawn rate of the system every few seconds so for this let's create the two variable so here you need to navigate the blackboard here this is called the blackboard click here the plus and create a float and the vector 2 here just right click here and rename it the spawn rate this vector rename as the spawn range is arrow key and take this exposed and change the value 0 to 8 Let's make it 100 and the 20th now just drag and drop here in the window here just drag it here we need to make the connection between them to spawn here so just click click here and just click this port and add to this period here 
you can see the behavior and just range port add to the range here of the periodic total time and this port will be connected to here this constant spawn rate here go back to the scene here you can see what a mind blowing snow effects we created here you can see guys lower direction here now here you can see where you move your camera it will start falling at that direction here you can see it's look amazing but it's not looking like this snow is falling so for this just again go back to the your vfx graph here okay guys so after this we need to modify the update context which is here in the vfx graph you can see that to make the particles move as if they were following along an air current so for this we need to create here in this update particle a block which is a vector field force it will provide a 3d texture as an input by default so just here right click and create block and just right here the vector field force here you can see this add it now we need to add one more block which is a turbulence which is provide a more dynamic vector field so just create one more which is a turbulence here it is this one okay so okay now here we need to change the turbulence here the absolute related to absolute and here the value is as same as that and everything is same and here we need to change the intensity 1 to 12 okay now just again go back to the scene here now you can see the difference in the our particles it looks similar to snow so this last change we will make to our update block will dynamically change the size of the particle based upon their speed to give them a streaky appearance more characteristic of the snow so for this just go back to the snow here and just again create a block just write it here a set scale by speed here here you can see these scales for the three dimensional here we are creating the two dimensional snow so just here we need to change the channels to x y if you want to create a 3d dimensional snow then you can choose here the x y z change the speed range to y2 and here x scale will wanna denote the minimum speed and y scale denote the maximum speed so here we are dealing with the two dimensional particle so just click on it here and just change this one this is called the y scale and this is the x scale now you need to change it at the y as a 0 0.35 around here you can see 0 0.2 and minus 0 0.1 here you can see the scale and here you have to make it linear here just click at the 1.0 here just add here perfect and just 
click on the y scale click on the y scale and just at the x axis drag this at the 1.5 around at the upper side just move it more up and just add here at this point you can see that here at the this position and again we need to make it linear just drag and drop equal to that this line here at this place 0 0.9 and y is 1.2 at the x here at this at 1.5 just drag here here you can see at the y 1.5 1 here you can see so just save it and again go to the scene now here you can see our particles is looking like a snow here you can see guys so now for making our snow more dynamic for this we need to transform of the particles at over time just go to the initialize context here this one initialize particle just click here to make it word and now we need to add a set position block so just right click here and create a block which is a set this set position and here just click this position and by increasing this y axis value our system initialize outside the view of the camera so set it 12 and now we need to create a sine wave node so for this creating a node just press your tab key and just write here the sine wave here now just connect this port to the your x and z we do not need to connect at the y axis and create a node right here the total time here and just add this port to the input of the sine wave and just make the frequency to 0 0.01 and minimum will be a minus 16 and the maximum will be the 16 change these value according to you so here you can see guys in our series our snow is start falling can see that here you can see that in my scene i hope guys you will understand what i try to tell you and i hope you will like my tutorial so thank you for watching till my next tutorial